sat down. So I did. All right, let's call to order today's meeting. Um, the go at special board meeting uh, from January 26, 2023 location, pepper mill casino conference room. And I'll ask the clerk to do the roll call. Thank you, governor Melanie Sheldon for the record. Governor Joe Lombardo. Present. Lieutenant governor Stavos Anthony. Secretary of state Francisco Aguilar. Dr. Weldon Havens. Here. Mr. Josh Reed. Here. Thank you. Ms. Ms. Sasha Stevenson. Present. Thank you, Ms. Stevenson. Mr. Jay Barrett. Here. Present. Thank you. Mr. Ty Gray. Present. And Mr. Raymond Spett. Present. Thank you all. And for our non voting members, uh, Mr. Dale Okiago. Present. Thank you. Mr. Christopher Sewell. Present. Thank you. And Mr. Terry Reynolds. Present. Thank you. Thank you very much, board members. Governor, we have quorum. Thank you, Mel. Moving on to agenda item number two. Uh, this will be now open for public meeting and comment. Please limit your comments to three minutes and restrict your comments to only items listed on the agenda. Do we have any public comment to the South? Mel, are you in the South? I am seeing none here, um, Governor, and I have not received any written um, public comment. Do we have any here to the North, any uh, by phone or in person? Do we have anybody read in my son? No, Governor. Okay, hearing none, uh, moving on to agenda item number three. I will now move on to item three recommendation and nomination of Thomas J. Burns as GOED's executive director. I would like to ask the board for recommendations for the next GOED executive director. I must select the director from this from the list and the board, if they are ready, can provide me up to three names. Does the board have any recommendations at this time? Governor Sasha Stevenson, for the record, um, thanks for opening it up to the floor. Given his vast business and chamber experience and his lifelong dedication to the state, I'd like to go ahead and nominate Tom Burns to serve as the new executive director of GOED. Um, it's been a pleasure to serve on this board, and as I continue my term, I'm excited to work with Tom and the incredible team at GOED to further your mission. Any other board members? Any other recommendations? All right, hearing none, can I get a second? Uh, we have a motion on the Governor, floor for this is Jay Mr. Barrett. Burns to be the co-ed director. Hold on, I hear somebody over talking. With Jay. Jay. Yeah, I'm sorry, Governor. This is Jay Barrett in Las Vegas, and I was uh, making the motion to second that nomination of Mr. Tom Burns. He will be an incredible leader for the, uh, the GOED organization, and I look forward to working with him. So uh, this is my official seconding of the nomination. Thank you, Jay, I appreciate that. All right, so we have a second. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, no. Is there any further discussion? All right, motion carries. Uh, congratulations there, Mr. Burns. Thank you very much. I'm, okay, uh, moving on to agenda item number four. Uh, now I have to consider the appointment of Thomas J. Burns for the recommendation to list provided by the board. Again, I thank the board for the recommendations as provided in NRS 231.047. I must appoint from the list, the list being solely Mr. Burns. It is my pleasure to appoint Thomas Burns as the next executive director of GOIT. And looking forward to our working together there, Mr. Burns, and congratulations. Thank you very much, Governor. I'm looking forward to it too. Would you like to make a comment? If you would, you know, I, I see some um, some friends uh, on, this, on this Zoom call, as well as some uh, folks that I look forward to meeting and working with. I'm very humbled to be asked to serve our, our state. Um, I have a lot of passion for the state of Nevada and its citizens, and I, 
I look forward to uh, to serving them and bringing some prosperity to to our state. So I look forward to working with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations, and be careful what you ask for. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it, uh, we don't have to. That's not an action item, correct? Uh, the approval of nope. We're good. We're good. All right, um, with that, we'll move on to agenda item number five. And the interim executive director of GOID, Bob Pops, will present uh, agenda item five. Thank you, Governor. For the record, uh, again, Bob Potts, I'm the interim director here at GOED. It's a real pleasure. I've got uh, two representatives with Redwood Materials that are here with us. So as we kind of move through this, if they have some comments after I make my opening comments and kind of talk about uh, the purpose of this special board meeting, if they want to weigh in, I'm happy to do that and, and hear back from the different board members. Um, so this uh, meeting was called together in large part to ratify and make a correction to the Redwood Materials $1 billion investment abatement approved at uh, December's board meeting last year. Uh, to talk us through this, I'd like everybody to refer back to the orange cover page that was included in the board packet. If we could go there, and then it'll be kind of easier to follow through to do that. Um, soon after the approval by this board, uh, that was on the 1st of September, it was the following Monday, we were made aware that we needed to adjust the amount of sales and use tax that can be abated under current statute. It was our understanding, our attorney's understanding, and Redwood's understanding that we would be able to abate the sales and use tax down to 2.75% over the 15-year period of the abatement. As it turns out, there was a change made in the 2019 legislative session under AB 400, deeply hidden in the 17-page statute, which precludes us and or a two-thirds vote of the board to abate the local school support portion of the sales and use tax abatement. Um, the two-thirds vote applied to both the data center abatements and the aviation abatements, and we were uh, led to understand that the same thing applied to this abatement as well. Uh, but that was made clear to us after our December 1 board meeting. Therefore, under current statute, we can only abate Redwood sales and use tax liability down to 4.85% for the next 15 years. All other abatements, including the modified business tax, personal property tax, real property tax and transferable tax credits stand as they were approved by this board last month. All of those numbers are in the middle of the orange sheet under the tax abatement. Um, and they're all lined out in there. Uh, and then I'll kind of talk a little bit about the numbers uh, in that section there. What this means is the company's total abated amount under this agreement now drops from the estimated um, where you see uh, um, the total there of 80,651,000 and $634, it drops it down. It, at the December meeting, it stood at $105,615,082. So that's a decrease, and that decrease of $24,963,000. So roughly $25 million decrease because of this uh, local school sa uh, support tax that could not be abated on the sales and use portions. So on the other side of the books, at the bottom of the orange sheet, um, total estimated net, net new tax revenue to the state and local government goes up from 183, mil, uh, $183,341,704 to $201,073,256 over the abatement period. After the abatement period, after that time, Red would be responsible to pay their full tax liability. With that, Governor, I... I think that kind of summarizes everything. I will open it up to questions. I'll open it up to Redwood if those gentlemen want to have anything to add to this. They have been amazing to work with um, as we've gone through this entire process. And um, relationships like this go well beyond a business deal. They become friendships. Any comment from Redwood? Uh, no, I'd just like to, uh, well, uh, Don Tatro for the record, Redwood Materials. Uh, appreciate everyone coming together uh, to make this amendment. Um, our commitment to the state and to the re region remains strong. We love it here, and uh, we're excited to work with the new administration and continue our work with GoEd. Thank you. Well, I have a question. This is uh, Governor Lombardo um, of Mr. Potts. During the narrative, you said there was a difference of $29 million, and my rough math gives me closer to 25 slash 26. I want to make sure the record's correct. Uh, yeah, that must have been, a, uh, I must have misspoke on that. It's 24,963,440. Is that your understanding? 25 million. Great. Thanks for that. Okay. 
Thank you. All right. So we have, can somebody, one of the board members, am I allowed to make a motion as the chair? I think so. Where's our attorney, Melanie? This about yes. Okay. Well, um, with that said, though, is there any other board member like to make a motion for approval of, of Redwood? Uh, Mr. Governor, this is uh, Tyree Gray. I would like to make a motion. I believe that Redwood materials uh, will play an important part in the future of Nevada as we look at having a vertic uh, a fully vertical economy um, in regards to lithium recycling and the ability to mine lithium and have lithium battery products um, all here made in Nevada. Redwood will, will play um, an important part to that. So it is my privilege to um, to move a motion that we approve um, this uh, abatement program for Redwood materials. Okay, thank you, Tyree. Um, Mel, um, before I go to a second, does that satisfy the the need to the motion, or do we have to codify the four point eight five percent and the one billion? Hina, um, I can see you on the line. Um, I believe it does satisfy. Uh, are you of the same mind? Yes. Okay. Hina uh, is our open meeting law um, attorney. Okay. Was, um, so the. There's satisfactory emotion was presented by Tyree. Do we have a second? This is Ray Spec Governor. I'll second. All right, let the record say uh, Ray Spec seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Any further discussion on this matter? All right, the motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you. your. Uh, participation in the state of Nevada. We're all going to be uh, prosperous as a result. I think the world will, but your company. <laughs> all right, um, this concludes the official board uh, items for the January 26, 23 go with special board meeting. I will now open the uh, board for any comments from the board. Anybody else want to add to the narrative? Governor, this is Ray Speck. If I may add, please. Yes, go ahead, Ray. Governor, if I may, I just want to thank Redwood uh, Materials for staying uh, with our state here. Apologize for what has occurred. Look forward to the strong partnership going into the future, working together, not just for our state, but for the country. Thank you. Any further comment? And just for the record that we were on agenda item number six, uh, moving on to item number seven, that's uh, for myself and I have no additional comments. Moving on to item number eight, I will open the meeting for public comment. Please limit the comments to three minutes and um, make heed the admonishment I gave earlier. Any comments to the south? Seeing and hearing none down here, Governor. All right, I see you here none to the north. This will now conclude the meeting on to agenda number I. Do I have a motion for adjournment? Usually you get everybody to do that. <laughs> I move to adjourn, Governor. Was that Sasha? That was Sasha Stevenson for the record. Thank you, Sasha. We don't need a second on that and we adjourn. Thank you everybody for your participation and thank you Redwood uh, for being a, a new Transferable company in the state of Nevada. Thank you. Take Everybody care. have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Tom, good job. <laughs>